All right, we're hanging here with Jack Gray hey, on man. We Found You Music. Thanks for making your way uh, all the way over from Dude. Australia to hang out with us. Dude, pleasure to be here. Pleasure <laughs> yeah. to be here. You're going to be playing our, our weekly concert series, and we are thrilled about it. I'm super pumped. It's this Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, right now you're kind of doing a solo show. I'm um, sure you'll do more of a full full thing down the line. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've um, I've done my... Basically, I love my acoustic performances because yeah. I've done them from day dot. You know, I used to play at pubs every weekend. But the band show is always something I look forward to doing because, like, I just love the idea of just rocking out on stage right. and just having a bunch of fun. And um, two different things, and I love them both, you know, equally. But um, I'm looking forward to getting... I've done the band show before, but I'm looking forward to, like, really honing in on it and mm -hmm. getting back into it. Mm -hmm. Well, you do some, uh, I think, looping. or You hop around. You have, like, the keyboard. Hop you do the, You know, you're a one-man band. <laughs> one-man band, that's, yes. That's how I see if it. I need, if I need to be, I can, I can try my best to be the one-man band, for sure. That's right. So the EP is out. Uh -huh. Nights like these... Nice Let's stream it. That's it. Thank you. And uh, you played my favorite song, Fools. Uh huh. And then uh, I'm gonna ask you about that one in a second. But also, uh, you played a new song for us, I believe. I did. I did. It's called Friends Like These, and cool. um, yeah, just about bad friends. Bad yeah. friends. Bad, bad friends. And it's coming out in a couple of weeks. Don't have an exact date yet. Okay. But um, it's a bop. So. Yeah, man. Well, we're mm -hmm. we're excited. We're thrilled to see new music coming out from you. Awesome. We're working hard on um, the music front. Yes. Yes. So yeah, what's the story behind nights like these? I mean, so I have recently kind of relocated to to here, Los Angeles. Um, I, I do go back and forth a lot, mm -hmm. but nights like this is kind of like the culmination of like my time post school to now like just figuring out who I am as a person mm -hmm. um, I spent a lot of time at this like converted caravan it was like a little I think you guys call it Airstream over here Airstream. yeah 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 and I and <laughs> my publishers like set it up as a studio and I spent like way too much time cooped up in there just writing songs um, with my mates and by myself and yeah and that's how that EP just came about hmm. nice so uh, it's very much uh, you put it all together yourself. It's a very personal, personal it's a, thing. It's a personal yeah. look at, at you. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want your fans to take away from it? It's a very personal... Very personal, and I hope, yeah, you can relate to some of the ideas I'm talking about and, and right whatnot. On. Yeah. So you recently wrapped up a North American run opening for Dean Lewis. Sure did. And how was that? It was amazing. I mean, <laughs> Dean has been like a big brother to me from the start. He's like... We have the same publisher, so, so we like kind of cross paths um, early on quite a lot. And so, you know, we became good friends and he's really been super generous, taking me under his wing. And we did a European leg. We did a North American um, leg. We did, I've done Australia like two times with him. And yeah. um, he's a legend and I've learned a lot from him and getting to travel and see all these different cities has been yeah, really something special. Some of your favorite places you traveled to? Oh, I your mean, favorite venues? Mon Montreal was like special. It was awesome. really, really cool. The venue was great. The crowd was like super, super like supportive and, and like rowdy and cool. Yeah. Um, Ireland um, was really, really, really... Um, Where's that? Dublin. Oh, Dublin. So, oh, it's Dublin. I don't know what I said. Ireland. Um, <laughs> Dublin okay. was epic. Um, where else? Where else we got? San Francisco was really cool. I was really excited to see that city. Um, so cool, yeah. It's a beautiful place. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of really cool places I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to see. That's so cool. Well, and then you had a, a headline uh, run over in Australia as well. Which, yeah, three, three little shows. And it was, it was, it's so crazy doing, because I've done a bunch of support shows and, mm -hmm. and obviously thousands of little pub gigs. Yeah. But doing your own show where people are paying money to come see you um, is a crazy feeling. And sure. def and it's nerve wracking too because you're like, are people going to show up? Like, mm -hmm. why would they? Mm -hmm. And people showed up, and it was really <laughs> cool. So it was awesome. a good feeling, yeah. Well, there you go. And uh, so, what kind of music did you grow up listening to? Um, like a lot of really pop, like like my in, in my family we call it super pop music. So I have two older sisters, and we kind of just listened to the main pop commercial radio station. And then when I got to high school, I had a um, a bunch of friends be like, bro, this is what you got to be listening to. And they showed me all the, the indie Australian artists and I got, I got really into like Busby Maru, Ballpark Music, Sticky Fingers, um, all those guys. So wow. then I had that influence. And then when I left school, I, uh, I had other friends come in and be like, no, Drake. And then all this like, um, yeah. like hip hop and, and um, English music and like the 1975. And um, yeah, so just a, a bunch of everything. I, uh, yeah. Cool. And mm. yeah, so I mean, how do you think that influenced your style? Do you pull from all those different styles? That's the thing. I, f I feel like because I listen to so much different stuff, 
I don't want to make one type of music. I want to make yeah. whatever I want to make. Whatever I think sounds cool in the moment, I want to make that. That's awesome, man. Mm. And uh, <laughs> so, so you, you're saying you produce most of the stuff yourself? Yep, yep. And so, like, what, what's your, like, favorite part of that process? I mean... Um, the, probably probably the, the recording the instruments. I, I grew up in a musical family, so I was surrounded by instruments. That was my first thing. I never really thought I was myself of much of a singer. And then eventually I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and do it, man. Yeah, so recording the instruments, tracking those, and, and coming up with cool little sounds is in my bedroom is just... Yeah, that's what I love doing. The best part, yeah. The best and then part, just yeah. see how it builds from there, I yeah, guess. Just, and then you lay your vocals on there. Yeah, just throwing paint at the wall, and, and then whatever sticks is is usually, you know, what's best for the song. Let's see, let's talk about some of the songs on the EP. Yep. Take Our Time. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a feeling of longing. Talk about that. Yeah, the, the, the long distance thing. So I wrote that song with a few friends um, at a songwriting camp, and um, I sat on it for a little while. It was something that I was going through at the time. Um, and it's a very relevant feeling for me right now as well. Um, but I sat on the song for a year. It was, I wrote that a while ago. And um, then my publisher, she said, you should listen to this song again, because um, it's got potential. And so I did. And then that day, I sat in my bedroom all day and just reimagined it and re, you know, jigged a lot of things. And um, it turned out to be my favorite song. Well, one of, one of my favorite songs of the EP. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and then Bullet. Is another one. So Bullet's my other. But Bullet's the other favorite song. Yeah. They're, they're my two little babies. Um, it's a heavier subject matter with that one. Yeah, there's a, it's much heavier. It's, a, it's kind of about the... Uh, um, so when I was, you know, in high school, my, my small town that I grew up in um, had a lot, of, a, a lot of troubles like any town does and um, suicide rates were really, really high. And so I wanted to talk about, you know, the two sides of suicide from, like, the perspective of um, the victim and the perspective of the families of the victim because it's not easy for them and it's very confusing for them but sure. this person you know it is, it is a whole thing but um yeah that song is really special to me well uh we are loving the ep definitely get to check <laughs> it out it's a little bit of a different flavor I, I really love fools as well yeah fools is it feels a little gem of mine too i can't i mean they're like my kids i can't really say one's my favorite yeah i do sometimes but really yeah, that's I, my fave uh, <laughs> any any uh, current artists you're loving that you're discovering and love Tame Impala, love role model. Um, I mean, every Australian loves Tame Impala. Yeah, everyone loves. Ta- say. Everyone loves. Everyone Tame- in the yeah. world loves Tame Impala. It's just cool they're from Australia he's, as well. Yeah, right. Um, Aren't they? Or are they from New Zealand? Um, no, he's from. Uh, well, Kevin Parker, like the main man behind it all, is from Perth. Um, okay, he's a legend. Um, but role model. Um, he's really cool. He's, I don't know where he's based, but he's American. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, we love Romal. You, oh, you got, yeah, he's sick. Um, I'm having a blank. <laughs> that's, that's a good Anyways, couple. yeah. That's a good taste. Um, well, your EP's <laughs> out now. The new single's coming on the way. Uh-huh. Check him way. out again. You're playing in L.A. Thanks for dropping by, by the way, on Tuesday. Dude, thank you. Really I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. You'll be playing just after 8. So mm-hmm. go RSVP and go to our website and click on the events tab. So wefoundymusic.com. Legend. And let's get people out and checking out Jack, you know? <laughs> and then uh, we will just keep following you from here. Dude, We're excited, man. Thank you so much. You're yeah. a legend. Thanks so much, Jack. Jack Gray on We Found the Music.